I made a bold prediction late last year that we would see Biomutant released by mid-2020. Well, we're kind of in May already and we haven't even seen a release date. Biomutant was originally announced back in 2017. We are now well into 2020 and the news is basically silent. Does this mean the game is in trouble? Well, I don't actually think so. Let me explain why. In the last few months, we've actually had a very small amount of information about how the game is going. It is still very much in development and my hope, obviously, is that it will eventually come out. I didn't make a video on these bits of news at the time as they are very small amounts of news, but it does give us some insights into what's happening over at Experiment 101 in this current time. The first is a tweet from the official Biomutant account on February 19th, 2020. In this tweet, they state that we know many of you are wondering if the game is still in development. Let us assure you that we've never been working harder and more focused on it than now. We are doing everything we can to make this the best game all of us have ever worked on, and that will be as entertaining and great as we can possibly make it. We can only hope for your continued support and patience as we complete the final stages of its development. As some of you might understand or know, the work involved in finishing a game is long, challenging and unpredictable. The sheer magnitude, size and length of Biomutant adds to said effort. We will reveal the release date as soon as everyone at our studio feels confident about hitting that date and the game is ready for it. This tweet was actually the first and the last tweet the studio has made from the official account this year. They have retweeted some fan art and a collector's edition giveaway, but no other information about this game has been released on the official account. So we have to look at other avenues. The next is from the art and creative director, Stefan Lingwitz. Lungwitz? I don't know how to say that name. I'll put it up on the screen for everyone to see. Stefan tweets, 4.33 in the morning. Guess it's time to wrap up for the night. Right back at it tomorrow. Play testing by Mutant that is. Reading between the lines of both of these posts, and the key takeaway is Biomutant is obviously still in active development at Experiment 101. They haven't canned the project, nothing like that, it's still in the works. I think this tweet from Stefan is a really good sign as to where the game is at. Now, I don't work for Experiment 101, so I don't know their specific development cycles, but playtesting is typically something that occurs towards the end of development. Not to be confused with QA testing, which is the process in which professional testers look for and report specific software bugs to be fixed by the development team. We also have a second tweet from Stefan, which seems to indicate that the audio side of the game is done. The tweet reads, said and done, I think of the hours and hours of original music scored by the awesome people at Red Pipe is finally in all of the right places and locked down. Took us a while to get it done, but what a joyful ride at Biomutant. This tweet was retweeted by Experiment 101, and as it's the only game they're working on, it seems like this is what they're talking about as Red Pipe is an audio studio. Now, with COVID-19 and the way of the world is shut down right now, this may have impacted the studio's timeline significantly as well. We don't know how well this very small studio was prepared to work from home. In fact, if they were in like a playtesting phase where the game is almost done, maybe it was positive that the devs are at home playing this game. I mean, it sounds pretty fun, right, in quarantine playing a yet to be released open world RPG. That's what I'd love to do in my quarantine. In the comments on my other Biomutant videos, I've seen a lot of speculation about this game releasing on the next gen consoles. And while I think that's plausible, the game wasn't in development for those consoles specifically. The official Twitter and all the marketing since its announcement in 2017 has PS4, Xbox One and PC as the release platforms. In past generations, there have been always games that have released around the time of the new console launches on the old consoles. In this case, the old consoles being Xbox One and PS4. I would not expect Biomutant to be a new console exclusive. This is the studio's first game release as a studio as Experiment 101 and with the extended development time and the cost and just good business sense really from THQ Nordic's perspective, you would want the game to be available to buy for as many people as possible. A quick Google search will tell you that about 45 million Xbox One units have sold and over 100 million PS4 units. Obviously, every console owner isn't going to buy this game, but the market that is going to be available to buy this game on those platforms is significantly larger than what will be on the new Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. What I mean by this is, let's say the game comes out in January 2021. By that time, the Xbox Series X 
let's for argument's sake say they've sold a million units and the playstation 5 has sold two two million that's three million potential customers from that market compared to the previous gen which is almost 150 million potential customers that is what they're going to target the other big issue is that experiment 101 would have been working on this game way before we heard about it and that this game was in development for xbox one ps4 and pc from its concept before even developers would have had the dev kits as this game was you know announced in 2017 it's probably been in development for two to three years way before then this is also a small studio as i mentioned there is significant work in polishing and optimizing games for consoles it's often why console exclusives like god of war for example are technically more advanced than titles that are on every platform this late in the game you wouldn't switch to new platforms with the extra development time involved however with xbox series x smart delivery it's possible that we could see biomutant on both current and next gen consoles without too much extra work from the developer i imagine sony has a similar plan for play PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 titles, but there is just no chance that this is going to be an exclusive to the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. I just can't see that. But what we do know, however, is that Biomutant is still in active development. Is the game in trouble or stuck in development hell? I would still say no. Late last year, the Embracer Group, who were the parent company for THQ Nordic, mentioned it in their financial report. The studio made a statement in February, and I still believe they are positioning to have an announcement sometime this year. And with the quarantine that's happened around the world, they've done the right thing and not committed to anything at this early stage when they can't really confirm 100% that what's going to happen in these next few months. Let's say they had originally planned to announce the game in April. By that stage, most of the world was shut down. We had no idea what was going to happen. There's been so many game delays this year. The Last of Us Part 2 pushed back to June. Dying Light 2 indefinitely delayed. It's happening everywhere. THQ Nordic have also seen their own with Wasteland 2 pushed back to the 28th of August 2020. And they also have other titles coming out like Destroy All Humans 2, SpongeBob SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottom as well. So it's not like they need Biomutant to fill a void. THQ Nordic and Experiment 101 are taking the right approach with Biomutant. Release it when it's done and I for one am excited to see the final product. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for Biomutant and put your estimated release date down below. I've got this idea right, we'll all have a bet. Whoever gets the closest date to the actual release, when we do have an announcement date I'll make a video and I'll put your comment on the screen there. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are all down below in the description, along with my Twitch. I stream three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night times. Hope to see you there. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Norza, and I hope you have a great day.